This is me, a body with a speech impediment. In case you've wanted to know what happens when I try to use my webcam to make a video, this is it. Hey, I'm Trevor. And that is why I have remained a disembodied voice. So we'll just leave my body alone to do whatever it wants while I discuss more November observances that are relevant for the week of the 8th. Continuing with some more monthly observances, we can categorize all of these ones under the historical tab, I guess. Aviation History Month, American Indian Heritage Month, and National Indian Heritage Month are historical because, well, they involve America, and America was founded from history. Well, on those same lines, National Georgia Pecan Month, because the words national and Georgia refer to America. I guess Georgians can celebrate the supremacy of their pecans because they're better than other pecans? That's assuming, of course, that Georgia pecans are actually pecans and don't reference a misnomer or that Rocky Mountain oysters addresses. And really, addressing national as having historical value in this case, that's sort of something I shouldn't have done because now I need to mention National Adoption Month, National Impotency Month, and National Inspirational Role Models Month. National Peanut Butter Lovers Month is important historically for other reasons, though. Namely, a peanut butter lover would have figured out their love for peanut butter at a certain point in time. A time in the past, so past, it's historical. But I could keep going on like this. There are all of these holidays and other observances, but they would have all had to have been created at some point in time, so I guess they're all historical. Becky, I'll leave the last, I count, six monthly observances to you. For weekly observances, today is the start of National Nurse Practitioners Week, Pursuit of Happiness Week, National Rad Tech Week, and Fraud Awareness Week. Tomorrow will be the start of National Young Readers Week, as well as World Kindness Week. That covers all of the weekly observances going on this week of the 8th through the 14th. Today, your last chance to celebrate Pumpkin Chunkin' Day, is also Abbott and Aid Punster's Day. So, make puns, encourage others to make puns, have fun with puns, yeah, lots of puns. Cook Something Bold and Pungent Day sounds like a recipe for disaster, whereas National Parents as Teachers Day supports a learning program of the same name to instruct parents on ways to teach their children up to age three. Monday is Crystal Knot, some, some German there, or Night of Broken Glass. It's in memory of a German anti-Jewish pogrom, which I guess means a riot of some sort. Some Nazi anti-Semitism that ran through to Tuesday, I guess. It will also be World Orphans Day. Tuesday will be Area Code Day, the Marine Corps' birthday, and National Young Readers Day. Wednesday will be Death Slash Duty Day and Veterans Day. It will also be one of 12 observances throughout the year known as Bonza Butler's Day, where the day and month are the same. Now, there aren't any holidays on Thursday, but Friday has Guinness World Record Day, World Kindness Day to coincide with World Kindness Week, and National Donor Sabbath Days, which runs through Sunday. Saturday, we'll start off with some kind-hearted holidays, such as Loosen Up, Lighten Up Day, and National Teddy Bear Day, but it also has the more neutral holidays of Spirit of the National Speakers Association Day and World Diabetes Day. Becky, that is all that is going on this Sunday through Saturday. I'll see you on the 15th. Happy holidays, guys.